<laughs> you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> Snickers satisfies. I feel so much better. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For the longest time, Snickers have done this sort of commercials where basically people are not really themselves. And so what they do is that they eat the Snickers to get back to normal. That has been like the running joke for Snickers commercials for like years and years and years upon end. However, there has been this one commercial that was produced in Spain that has been catching on like a lot of heat. Like so much heat that basically like almost everybody on social media who is gay has recently denounced this commercial. So let's take a look at the commercial and just see how bad it is. Uh, sexy zumo de naranja. Con vitaminas A, B y C. Abracitos, besitos, muat y caricias around the world. Anda, toma uno de los sneakers. Mejor. Mejor. Honestly, when I saw that commercial for the first time, I honestly thought that that commercial was pretty much in line with the humor of the other commercials. That is to say, that people who are not, you know, eating like a lot of food who are hungry, transform to somebody that they're not, and by having a Snickers, they get back to normal. And so, it seems as though, from what I've seen so far on social media, that many people are pretty much interpreting this commercial as being homophobic, because the guy who was part of the commercial, he is gay, and they interpret that commercial of that guy being less gay by eating a Snickers bar. So Snickers just produced a disgustingly homophobic ad in Spain in which a frambolently gay guy is cursed and turned straight by eating a Snickers bar. I'm blown away just how disgustingly bigoted this ad is. This is the third homophobic ad that Snickers has done. You should be disgusted at yourself! Snickers! Don't cure queerness, you uneducated homophobic pieces of shit. Snickers. Es insultante de tantas maneras que no sé por donde empezar. Homophobia en que estaban pensando. Sobre todo de hola de violencia homophobia que hay en varios países al momento. Que tipo tipo se homofobio en 2021 mentiras hace un mes un grupo de chicos asesino a grupos de un maricón. Vale la violencia desde el colegio y la broma os hace complices. Go fuck yourself, Snickers. Vente a la mierda. No eres tú cuando tienes hambre. Que no eres un machote. Esta basura de publicidad de colectivo con la homofobia por homofobia de Snickers con las agresiones al colectivo reputando. ¿En serio? One thing that I continuously to notice throughout these whole entire tweets that I show to you guys is that they're not taking into consideration that Snickers had a long history of making this type of joke where people are not themselves when they're hungry and so they eat the Snickers bar to show people of course that they're back to normal. And so not just that though, but many people are assuming that because the guy ate a Snickers bar, he is no longer gay. Like isn't it kind of funny that they're saying that out loud? Because basically, who is actually assuming that other than the people who are actually claiming that? Because it's entirely possible that a person who is gay can also not be flamboyant. And so, by having a Snickers bar, he becomes less flamboyant. However, just because he's less flamboyant does not mean he's not gay anymore. So you guys are probably the ones who are thinking that way. But um, it's kind of funny how it works both ways, you know. Also, I kind of find it really sad that any type of humor is pretty much lost on this generation. Like, everything is offensive to them, and so they want to cancel stuff on social media to show companies just how offended they are. And the thing about it, Dell, is that if you don't like something, don't watch it. It's simple, really. You don't need to cancel an entire company just because you don't like a Snickers ad. Like, like I said before, they have a history of making these sort of funny ads on TV. And so, not every type of humor is gonna be like clean. Like, sometimes humor could be really, you know, offensive at times. And that's what people want. You know, it'd be so strange and so bizarre 
to have a world where basically, you know, there's like no such thing as humor, that everything is offensive, like, dude, I do not want to live in a world where you cannot necessarily express yourself like a comedian. Because there are comedians, you know, on college campuses who get canceled. Sometimes jokes, you know, they age, and so they try to cancel people because of that kind of crap right there. And so I just feel as though that they don't take into consideration, of course, that humor is subjective. They could tune out if they don't like it. You don't have to go against something just because you don't like, you know, the humor. And of course, Snickers had to apologize to the mob because, you see, it's not good business to, you know, not to apologize, he says. Comunicado oficial Snickers. Desde la marca Snickers, nos tomamos los derechos de igualdad y colusión muy en serio y queremos en cualquier persona tiene el derecho de mudarse tal y como es. Por ello, desde Snickers queremos pedir disculpas por mantenerlo que haya podido causar nuestra nueva campaña. Even the actor who is gay, his name is like uh, Alex Gibaja, actually wrote this message out loud and apologized for those who were offended by the commercial. Babies, estoy en estado de shock con todo lo que está sucediendo. No ha hablado todavía porque no tenía fuerza para hacerlo después de ver tantos mensajes contra mi persona. Quiero dejar claro que nunca jamás haría daño a nadie. Mi bandera siempre fue, es, y sería el respeto, la igualdad y la tolerancia. Pido mil perdones por alguien se sentió ofendido y le hizo daño todo eso porque para nada era la atención. In Western culture, we obviously tolerate gay people, and so we don't necessarily have an intolerance of them in comparison to like Middle Eastern countries. However, I'm kind of curious. At what point do we actually treat gay people as equals when it comes down to humor and other types of media out there? Because I remember far back ago that many people were pretty much upset at the fact that a gay couple died in the movie called It Part 2. And it's just so weird when people were upset about that because basically Horror movies do not have any favor for anybody, so meaning like everybody, of course, is treated equally in a horror movie. It's the same to for humor. Like, basically for humor, you can joke about anything. So I'm just kind of curious, at what point is it okay to joke about gay people without someone being offended by something? Because you see, I'm pretty sure that most gay people who watch like humor with gay people or whatever don't necessarily care if you make a gay joke or not. Yet at the same time, no matter what you do, if you make a gay joke, whether it's like innocent like a Snickers commercial or not, somehow, some way, people find offense to it. By telling people, hey, you cannot have jokes about gay people, or hey, you cannot have gay people die in horror movies, are you not not treating gay people as your equals? I'm just kind of curious. At some point, we as people, and I guess companies too, shouldn't have to apologize for something that is meant to be humorous in nature. And if they get offended, we should probably say fuck you and just move on because honestly, it's a big waste of time to cater towards everybody. Because no matter what you do, some will get offended by something and so we should never really apologize for our humor and stuff we've had to do in our daily life. So what do you guys think about the reaction to this commercial? Are they just or they're not unjust? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler